हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम मोर यू आई ऑपरेशन यूजिंग द सिलेनियम ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट वन इज हाउ टू वर्क विद ड्रॉप डाउन यूजिंग सिलेनियम एंड हाउ वी कैन टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट यूजिंग सिलेनियम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग लाइक इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव परफॉर्म सम यू आई ऑपरेशन एंड आई एम ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर सेम स्क्रिप्ट इन दिस आई एम मूविंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट ओके दिस इज अज डेमो एंड लेट मी लॉग आउट राइट नाउ आई एम लॉग इन इन टू इट सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट वी आर यूजिंग एंड थ्रू आर कोड वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर फर्स्ट मैक्सिमाइजिंग द विंडो ओके एंड देन वी आर एंट्रिंग द यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड इन दीज टू फील्ड एंड देन वी आर क्लिकिंग ऑन द लॉग इन बटन सो लेट मी डू सेम थिंग अगेन मैनुअली के सो आई हैव लॉग इन इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन नाउ वी नीड टू इंस्पेक्ट द एलिमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन डू मल्टीपल ऑपरेशन ऑन सम ड्रॉप डाउन लाइक दिस इज द ड्रॉप डाउन इन हियर एंड इफ यू सी देन दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट ऑप्शन इन दिस लाइक दिस इज द प्री सेलेक्टेड option in this name a to z and there are multiple option present in the drop down okay so we will see one by one like how we can get all the drop downs value and how we can select some particular value and other things so let me do it so for that first of all we need to uh, use one class select class so selenium provide the select class if you see org open qa selenium support dot ui so we will be using the select class i am creating the object of it then so we need to initialize this particular select uh, object and for that we need to provide the select okay so this particular select will take uh, one parameter and the parameter is the web element so we need to provide the drop down element in it so we can provide it by uh using this so let me do driver uh, dot find element okay and it will return the web element and by so if we see then in this particular i think this class is unique for this drop down so this is the unique class but in most of the cases class uh, classes of multiple elements are not unique but this time as we are working on this demo application so i am taking the class name okay so i need to do by then class name and then class name i need to provide the class name so we have uh, done this product sort container okay now first thing we can do with it like this is a select object we have got and we can play with it and we can uh, see how we can use it efficiently uh, in performing multiple operation so first thing let us get this particular default option whatever is selected in it so for that uh, let me uh do select and then select uh there is a function get for selected option okay and we will be getting this particular option and if you see then this get for selected option returns a web element so this will be a web element and if i do get text so we need to get the text of this particular web element so in our previous tutorial we have seen how we can get uh, the text of the uh, web element so same thing we are using in here this returns the web element and we are just getting the text in here so we can uh, get it into a string so let me name it as default option okay and then this will be a like this will be giving us the default option let me do uh, print out on the console so the default option is or uh, this default option okay so this will be our default option now the second thing we can do like let me comment in here also select a drop down okay drop down value now let us do one more thing uh, like this time we need to get all the options okay so for that there is one more method in this particular select class uh, which is uh, let me select dot get options so if you see the get options so it will return all the options and it returns the list of web element so for now let me uh, get it into a list okay and list of web elements okay and then let me tell uh all options and this will uh, be our web element so let me comment here also getting all options of the drop down and then we can do one thing we can loop through it like we can loop through all the elements web element then let me do element then all options we are having and uh, to 
print all the things we can do simple uh, element uh, dot get text so uh, these are the basics we are using just we are uh, doing some different things and using the basics so see this is the web element we are having like we are loop through all the options and then we are getting the text of each element and then printing on the console simple the simple thing we are doing now let us see uh, some more things so we will be running this particular program and then seeing how it is working but before that let me write some more uh, functions so there are three things we need to consider uh, like we need to uh, select some value in this particular drop down okay some particular option so if you see then in the inspect element also there are uh, these things like select is the root tag and then there is this particular options are present in here so options are the child of this select okay and then if you see for each option we are having some value like it is saying az then za then lohi and then there is particular text also like this is the text of these particular options so we can select these drop downs in three different ways okay let me tell you one by one so first uh, way is uh, select by visible text select by visible text so for that what you need to do you need to simply uh, call a function select by visible text so if you see there are these three functions select by value select by index and select by visible text so we are using this select by visible text firstly and the visible text is these text okay so let me select the price low to high for now okay and i am just simply giving this price low to high in the this particular select visible text as a argument okay and then second uh, method is select by value okay then i am doing select dot select by value and then value we need to provide the value of these so let me provide hilo for now like these are the values okay these are the visible text and these are the values and at third we can do one more thing select by index so select by index okay and in this select by index we can simply call the function select by index and in this index we need to provide the index okay so if we see then it takes uh, this integer as an argument so whatever is the index so index is like uh we are having four options okay so index first option uh, for the first option the index is 0 then for the second it's 1 then 2 then 3 so it starts from 0 only so let us uh, go for one now like it will select this name z to a okay and that's it like these are the five things we are doing first we are uh, getting the default selected option and then we are getting all the list of options then we are selecting uh, the value in the drop down by visible text then by value then by index so these are the three important things we like as a tester whenever we are working on the automation so whenever we works on some drop down then these are the basic functions we performs so let me do one thing uh, let me just debug it and it will log in and then we will be seeing how the things are working and it has provided this url then it has maximized the window then username password entered in here then i think yeah it's clicked on the login button and then we need to come to our debugger point okay so this is our debug point okay so now let us see how the selects are working so let me uh, create the object of it so our select object has initialized in here and first thing we need to get the default option okay so this is the de default option name a, a to z we are expecting this and if i do this then we have got the default option name a to z and we are simply printing on the screen so like whatever uh, assertion you want to do if you want to compare with the, your expected default options or something you can do in here only okay and then second thing we are getting the list of all the web elements so see we have uh, got all four elements in it like there are four things we are getting in this particular list and we by going to the loop four times we are just printing all the options so if you see in the console then there's all the options all the four options in this particular drop down got printed on our console and then we are just selecting by the visible text so first one is price low to high so see uh, this has selected the price low to high then select by value high to low we are selecting so price high to low it has selected and then we are selecting by index first so it should be selected uh, the name z to a let us see how it works 
so select by index so see uh, it has selected the name a to z so this uh, these are the basic operations about uh, select okay 